Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Xander Foster, and cishets are wildin' out, so we're gonna react to some of that. A little while ago, I made this playlist called Cishet to cry laugh at. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. Okay, so this first video is called Gender Identity. Why all the confusion? And it's made by Prager U. Yo, Prager, I do not know why there is all this confusion either. Please enlighten me. It's now okay for a man to hit a woman. All right, we're off to a good start. That, in effect, is what a mixed martial arts league decided when it allowed Fallon Fox a biological male to fight as a woman simply because he identifies as one. Whoa, 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 wait. Okay, so she started this video. It's now okay for a man to hit a woman. As a transgender man, I'm just gonna say it's not okay for anybody to hit anybody. If you're boxing or mixed martial arts fighting or something, then as long as you're following the rules, you, you you're sort of supposed to hit your opponent. And the consequence of this decision? Fox sent female fighter Tamika Brents to the hospital with a broken skull and a concussion. Brents needed seven surgical staples to bind her wounds. 20 years ago, if a man hit a woman so hard that he sent her to the hospital, he'd be in prison. <laughs> It is not okay for someone to hit someone else and send them to the hospital. In any case, like regardless of gender. Here, in the case of mixed martial arts fighting, I don't know if you know the rules of mixed martial arts fighting. I know I certainly don't. But I'm pretty sure, just judging on what I've seen from mixed martial arts fighting, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to hit your opponent. I could be wrong. Mixed martial arts, kind of the name sounds, you know, a little bit aggressive. Um, if you're not supposed to hit your opponent, uh, are they sewing in the ring? Today we are told that male and female are one and the same. Miss McGuire, you're bringing up biology. I don't think many people are arguing that biological male and biological female are inherently the same. See, now, I started this video and I was not confused at all on my own gender identity, on gender identity as a concept. Miss McGuire, you are very confusing. I am now confused. Why all the confusion? Because we're 49 seconds into this video and you just have given me so much to question and think about. Thank you for that. Also, I feel like you're setting this conversation a few decades back, so there's nowhere to go but up. Facebook went so far as to offer its users over 50 genders to choose from. Know what a demi-boy is? Me neither. <laughs> like, she's so personally attacked. Know what a demi-boy is? Me neither. Demi is a prefix meaning a part of, and boy is a term used to describe the masculine side of the gender spectrum. So demi-boy would then be part of. Boy, glad I was able to break that one down for you. But it's actually a very anti-scientific view of one of the essential facts of life. Because obviously gender is one of the essential facts of life. Without the social construct of gender, we could not live. Your chromosomes are different, and of course, their bodies are different. No amount of peer-reviewed papers from gender studies departments can change this. This woman is saying, no amount of facts or research or peer-reviewed papers from gender studies departments from people who are experts in the field is going to change the fact that bigotry trumps facts. Good to know. But that won't stop the progressive elites who run our universities. Progressive elites? I want to be a progressive elite. That sounds dope as heck. Do I get like a punch card for being a progressive elite? The gay agenda, punch. Planned Parenthood, punch. Cause that sounds lit. The men and women are the same argument invariably leads women to be judged against a male standard. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're saying the argument that men and women are equal is a problem because it holds women to a male standard. 
So what you're saying is women are less than men and therefore it's a problem that they're being held to a male standard because they simply can't reach that because they're women. <laughs> Ooh, I can't handle this. I love it. I love it. Or to put it another way, to be more of a woman, a woman has to be more like a man. She has to want to have casual sex like a man. All right, now you're just feeding problematic stereotypes. To serve in combat like a man. Women cannot serve in combat. They're women. Their feelings will get in the way. And their narrow set shoulders. I mean, Ashley. <laughs> to serve in combat, you do not have to have the physical strength of a biological man. You can have the physical strength of a biological woman and serve in combat. I feel like you're just undermining all of the efforts of female soldiers. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment, question, or concern. And if you wanna see more from me in the future, then subscribe. Stay sweet.